In the energy quadrant today, taking a look at the September natural gas contract, which was up over 2% today, actually up over 3% on the highs, three and a quarter percent, near 3.28% to be exact on the high side of things. 409 and three quarters was the high in the September contract. We finished the day up a little bit more than 2.1%. And on the downside, we're actually down 1.01% below that $4 mark. 3.92 and three quarters was the low today in that September natural gas contract. Henry Hub Natural Gas is now up two consecutive sessions after that Tuesday sell-off. And we are now up nine of the last 10 sessions for the September natural gas contract. Weather demand, always the big driver. And overall, demand for natural gas will be high through Friday, then ease to moderate. Demand's going to remain quite strong the next couple of days as hot high pressure covers most of the US with highs from the 90s to the 100s, including highs as, 100, as high as 103 in Texas. Slightly cooler weather is gonna move across the upper Great Lakes and New England later in the week, bringing highs down to the 80s. And the Southwest and the Southeast will get rain, but still be hot. Then a cooling trend is gonna sweep across the Great Lakes and the Northeast over the weekend, dropping temperatures to between the 70s and the 80s. And that's gonna take that demand down from high to moderate through the weekend and later next into next week. Then of course we had the EIA report today and today's report printed a build of 36 billion cubic feet. Now that was smaller than the national survey averages of 40 to 44, that was kind of the range. And this increase supplies to 2.714 trillion cubic feet and improved deficits to 168 billion. So we're minus 168 billion cubic feet versus the five-year average. Now, next week's EIA report will be smaller than normal due to the widespread heat this past week, but we should start to normalize once we get through August.